groups can be very useful in organizing our designs as well as can help us do some bulk operations or help us with our existing tools and options. So to take a look at our groups, I can just go on the left hand side and tap on groups. And notice here by default, all of my 3D bodies go into the same group by default called group of shapes here. And you can see that this desk design currently has 16 shapes within it. Now, what I can do from here, I can swipe to the left and that will highlight everything within a group. I'll just swipe to the right and then I can delete this entire group or rename it. I also have a few more options, the eye icon here to hide or show all bodies within a group. And the icon here to add to a group of shapes, so that will add any 3D bodies to an existing group. So one example where we might find groups to be very useful, aside from just organizing our designs, is the ability to use bulk operations. So if I wanted to change the color as an example of a number of my bodies here, I would have to do it one body at a time if I'm not using groups. So let's say I want to change the color of my drawer bodies here. So I'd have to go into my tools, color, and I'd have to tap on one face. Notice that's just changing the face I tapped on for that body. Or if I do a double tap, that will grab the entire body. So now it's changing the color of that entire body. But Notice, since I don't really have well-created groups here, I would have to double tap for each individual body I'd like to change here. And there's a number of tools that can use these bulk operations. So color, as an example, we'll see here. Similarly, uh, subtract, union, uh, many of our transform tools we can use groups. So if I had groups, notice up at the top I could say select faces, bodies, or groups to color. And I could just tap on groups there. And that's going to show me the list of all the groups I have. In this case I only have that one. So it's actually going to grab everything. But if I had a couple better created groups, I could do kind of bulk operations and say change the color of just my drawers or just the top of my desk here as an example. So let's take a look at creating something like that. So I'm first going to go into my groups here. And again, right now I just have my group of shapes. If I'd like to create another group, I can just tap the plus. And notice I've just created a new group with zero shapes within it. I'd probably like to rename this. So let me just swipe to the right here and rename. And maybe I'll call this first group the metal legs. And then of course I want to add my metal legs to this group. So I can tap on the icon to add to my particular group, in this case add to metal legs. And now I just select whichever bodies I'd like to add to this group. In this case, just my single body of these metal legs here. And tap Done once finished. If I go back into my groups here, now notice I have my metal legs. I can swipe to highlight those. As well as my original group of shapes, which is my other 15 3D objects here. Maybe I'd like to break it down even further. So I'll add one more group. Maybe rename this to Tabletop. And then again, add my 3D shapes to this group. And to my Tabletop, I'm going to want these three wooden plank components. And again, tap Done. Once finished off, jump back into my groups, take a look. So now I have my tabletop, I have my metal legs, and then the remaining group of shapes. 
actually my drawer. So I can actually keep that group, maybe if I'd like, and just rename it. And I'm going to rename this to drawers as an example. So now I have three groups, a fairly simple or small design, and just creating three groups and a total of 15 shapes. So I have my tabletop, has the three wooden planks there, my metal legs, just my metal welded legs perhaps, just in one shape, and my drawers, which again has about 12 wooden planks to create that. So now why this is useful, if I just get out of the groups here, I can do some bulk operations here with much more ease. So let's just go back to that color example. I can go into tools, color, and now instead of having to individually select each and every body, I can go into my groups and I'll see what I have available to me. So maybe I just want to change the metal legs or the drawers or the tabletop. Let's do the drawers in this case. See it's quite a bit faster than individually selecting 12 unique bodies. So I can just go into drawers. Notice it grabs my entire group and I can change my drawers to be whatever color I may like. So you can see this is a very large time saver as well. In this case, fairly simple, but you can see how much time this could save in a very large design where maybe I have tens to twenties to hundreds of different 3D bodies that I can group. And just have you with this. And you can see very easily just in a single tap instead of multiple selections, I've changed the colors of the drawer group here and go into my groups. I can now, as you can see, hide or show each of these. So if I do the, the swipe to the right, I can see it, it will highlight that group. If I do a, a swipe to the left, I can rename or delete an entire group if I no longer need it. I have my add to group icon. I also have hide show, which can be very useful. So if I never need to hide or show specific components, I can just tap on this eye icon to hide and show my particular bodies. Notice within my groups tools I have sketches, construction geometry, and images which all work in a, a very similar manner as well. In the next few lessons we'll learn about construction planes and construction axes and also take a look into some more complex design tools.